the third stop on our journey is the Tropical Dome. Magic. It is definitely warmer in here. I wonder why they didn't keep the desert one this warm. It's very humid in here. It might just be because they have to to keep these plants alive specifically. I guess that's why it's the tropical though. I mean, you have to have a very specific climate to have like a rainforest type atmosphere. And it definitely feels like a rainforest type atmosphere in here. Oh, look at that. For you chocolate lovers out here, as soon as you walk in, there's a cocoa cacao tree. It's native to South America, but now planted worldwide, especially in West Africa. Uh, these small trees are wind, drought, and shade tolerant, thriving in rich, moist soils with high rainfall. And it actually has cocoa plants that looks like growing on it, which is pretty cool. It even says, <laughs> removal of plants are fruit prohibitive. They, they mean, don't try and pick your own chocolate. Looks like there's some other fruit bearing tree over here. Please do not touch the orchids, it says. I wonder what type of a uh, tree that is. Those aren't oranges, are they? It's kind of hard to tell. That's bananas, though. Wow. Look at that huge banana tree. Fun fact, I am allergic to bananas since about age 13. Which is awful because I love bananas, or used to. Boy, these leaves are just massive, wow. Look at how massive these leaves are the amount of shade they provide. Yeah, these are all banana plants, Eli, or banana trees. I'm guessing I probably shouldn't even touch them. <laughs> if I'm allergic to them, right? If I'm allergic to bananas. snake plant that's pretty neat the diversity of plants is pretty amazing isn't it so many of them wish I could get vines like that growing on the plants I have in my house the banana tree was probably the most impressive thing I've seen so far here that was pretty cool
also, for those of you wondering, it cost us $9 per person to get in. It's a little steep, but at the same time, for under 20 bucks for two people to go and spend, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes, an hour in a place like this in the middle of February in a cold climate, it's not that expensive, I guess. It's, it's a good value, if you ask me. What's the temperature in here? 74? So it's 74 degrees in here compared to 58 in the other dome that we were just in. Again, because this is tropical. I did not realize this was that tall. Look at the size of that palm tree. That's probably the biggest palm tree I've ever seen in my life. Amazing. So I hope you enjoyed my video tour of the Mitchell Domes in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in February. I highly recommend coming here. Just a neat little getaway on like what, like the west, southwest side of the city. Very easy to find. It's also near a casino if any of you like gambling. And I'm signing off for now. Hope you enjoyed the tour, everyone.